Hi, welcome to Explore Akashian Conference Training Course. Today is the day eight. I will guide you how to manage files in Confluent. Okay, so now let's get started. Open browser and then you access into the Akashian page. This is the working space for website development project with TNV8. So now I will go ahead to create a page to manage the file in our working space. I will create a page by clicking on the button on the top menu, create. On this page, I will close the right hand side. This is the quick action. By default, the content on this page will be displayed in the middle. I mean in the center of the page. I will click on the arrow button here to make page full width. Yeah. For the page title, I will name it a file management. In the main body, I will have the layout here. And also, underneath of this one, I will have a insert view table. I will have a content report table, macro content. For the label, by default, when you create a new page to upload the file, so it will have a label. So here I will have a label is file list. For the space, yeah, you have to get the key for the space. You open the working space and go to space setting. In the space detail, you see we have a key here. Copy this one and come back to the file management page. Put it here. You can check to the show comment count, show like count, and also limit how many records will be displayed in, in the table of the content report. By default, it will be 20 records. Click on preview button here to see the news update. This is the default content report table. It contains three columns, title, creator, and modify. Let's go ahead to click on insert. And then you can see we have a new content report table. Macro has been added into this page. And on the top, I will insert a template. Where? I mean, we will have a button. When the user click on that button, it will allow the user to pick up the templates for creating a page to manage the file and content there. So, I will type in the search box in the create from templates. This macro will help me to embed a button in the content which enable user to create content from any Predefined templates. Let's click on this one. And then the button text. By default, it will be created from templates. You can go ahead to change the text here. I will name it a create file manager button. Okay. Yeah. And for the templates, yeah, you click on the drop down button. It will display a lot of templates. And here I will select the option the file list title of page to be created. You can also enter it it's the default title here. Yeah. Otherwise, you can leave it by default in blank. Spy key. Yeah, of course, you have to put the spy key here. Let's click on the preview button. It will apply the new update for the text button. Click on insert button. So you can see here, we have a new button has been added into the file management page. Let's click, click on publish. A new file management page has been created here. You see here on the top right hand side, we have the create files management page button. Let's go ahead to click on this button. 
it will open a pop-up where you are able to create a file list. You enter the title for the file list. For example, in the file management, I want to break it down into some category. I want to manage the file for the uh, requirement. I will name it the requirement management. You can also enter some the definition here. Manage file manage require. You can also enter some revision for uh, to the user. I mean, if you want only grant the permission for some specific user, so you can enter the name of that person into this rejection type up here. For example, I want to grant the permission to Chen Wu only, so I will select the Chen Wu. Yeah. Otherwise, if you don't want to add a rejection to any person, so you can leave it by blank. Click on career button. And then it will open up a new path. You click on publish. This is the requirement management path has been created. On this path, you see that we have a managed requirement file for project. This is the description I have left enter during the creation of the in a pop-up, we have a file modified, and here the below we have the number of file set here. The drop and drop to upload the file, or you can also click on row for files hyperlink. Yeah, and here let me upload some file here. For example, I will create a new file. That one. Open this file. I will try to enter some data here. For example, I have three files. Let's select three files here and the drop and drop into this section. And then the file will be uploaded. Yeah. We have that one have been uploaded. Oh. Only that one is uploaded and that one copy. Copy to. And you take a look into the bottom of the right hand side. This is the label file minus list. Okay. And go to the files management pet. And you see in the files management parent pet here, it will display the requirement management category. And you just go ahead to click on edit button. And click on edit the, the content report here. You see, this is a label, file minus list. We have to enter exactly the label here in order to correct the category name displaying in the content report table. Okay. The same thing we can go ahead to create as a category for files management. Click on Create file management page on the top hand side. I will have a design, UI design. Create publish. So now the new category to manage the file has been also created. Drop drop here. And for the file management on Confluent, by default, we've been support a lot of the file type, like Word, Excel, PDF, PSD, Emis, and other file type. You back to the file management. You see the news one UI design 
category has been also added into this table. Okay. Open this one. So here for the text one minus copy itself out here. This is the first version. By default, when you have any updates for the data file, if you don't change the file name, just change the detail content in that file, and then after you finish updating the content in that file, and upload it again into the Confluent, it will automatically create a new version to manage the new one for you. Okay, let me go ahead to update the content inside the text one minus copy. I will enter some row here. And upload it again. So you see, after we upload the file with the same name, in this of create to file here, it will create a new version to manage the content for this file. Yeah, version number two, version one. Okay. And if guys, if I change the file name for this one, and then upload it again, so it will automatically manage this one with the different file. And also it have only one version. Yes. Okay. The same thing, back to the files management. This will be the parent page. We will help you to manage all of the file category in the working space. You can go ahead to create multiple file type or file category here to manage any file you want. Okay. I hope this lesson will be helpful for you. Let me know if you have any question and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you guys in the next lesson.